to the uh, BA228 uh, computer assisted accounting start video right so th through this video I'm going to lay out some of the important things you need to do at the beginning of the this course so you can be successful have a good start right and so um, I'm Darren Bell I'm the instructor for this course uh, really the the main thing that we're going to be learning through this uh, computer assisted accounting course is QuickBooks okay so this is really the QuickBooks course uh, for the college uh, next year we're also going to overlay um, as a computer assisted accounting 2 we're going to overlay the uh, cloud-based accounting uh, component as well so just just to give you a heads up so that's kind of the second part of this class that we're going to be doing it'll be next year um, when we do that so uh, but with this so so you you guys see me this is the this is the blackboard uh, site that you're able to see here right with the different buttons for, for the beginning of the course uh, for the first couple weeks I'm gonna have a start here button over on the left side right so that's this button right here right and so the start here button is going to bring up the screen that you see here it's gonna have uh, the start video and it's also going to have the introduction uh, for class participation so that's actually the first assignment that you need to do in this class so uh, our class for the most part everybody's going to be in class with us live there are going to be a few students that are going to be doing this course that we're not going to see in class and so um, for everybody to get to know each other or for me to get to know you right and get caught up with you if I've had you in previous classes I need you to go to the introduction uh, link right here introduction for class participation I need you to fill that out that's the first uh, assignment so it takes you to the discussion board links here you click on the introduction for class participation and then you need to create a new thread right here so as you click on create thread it brings up this window it has questions here uh, what is your major why are you taking this course these kind of things what, what do you hope to learn in the course so uh, answer these questions down here in the uh, message section right and then submit and so that's your first assignment pretty straightforward pretty easy just to get us rolling for the class okay so I was gonna wor walk you through the the green links over here on the side uh, to help you understand kind of what's in the course and and where to find stuff right so the the, the link that's down below start here is the coursework menu so if you click on that we're really doing this course by chapter so the textbook that you buy is has these chapters in it okay they're gonna be uh, and we're really we're gonna cover about a chapter a week some some chapters are gonna be split over several weeks but we're gonna do about a chapter a week uh, and then we're also gonna have our exams in there and and our projects that we're gonna be working on so let's go ahead and click on chapter one so chapter one um, so we have a, a quiz for each chapter okay that's gonna be due okay we're, we also have um, a, an assignment and it's actually out of the book okay so in the book you'll find um, the assignment uh, it's the uh, question answer assignment in the book um, it has uh, there's also so there's some attached files here so you see the link here uh, with the attached file you can click on that and it'll download a file for you it's a word document and the word document will contain let me drag it over here there we go so the word document is going to contain uh, let's see the uh, the kind of the questions and there's going to be some um, some kind of like true and false questions uh, the questions that you have to answer kind of in an essay format as well so um, hopefully that helps you okay all right there's also and so you just need to fill this out answer all the questions go through all of this and then you can resubmit it uh, you can submit that word document here so 
um, in this link. So this link right here is the actual um, submission link. So you go there, you browse your computer for the Word document or however you want to do your work. You can do some of it in Excel. Sometimes it works better to do things in Excel sometimes. Um, but what, however you want to do it, you browse your computer um, and you find the file that you uh, completed the homework in, attach it, and submit it. Okay. So that's kind of the work uh, coursework area. Uh, there's also a project that's down here towards the bottom. Um, there's also extra credit work that you can do maybe towards the end of the term as you get going. I really suggest you focus in on the chapter work in preparations for the exam and then the and then in preparation to do the project as well. Okay. So the way we're going to spend most of our class periods is going to be through um, some short, uh, where I'm going to give you some short um, kind of demonstrations, if you will, on how to do some certain things in QuickBooks. Uh, a lot of the content I'm going to put on here as well in the different chapter folders. I'm going to I'm going to link some other videos through here for those students that aren't in class with us, so they can see demonstrations and be able to work through it. There's a plethora of knowledge about QuickBooks out there as well. So in many ways, this is all, you can also look at this course as a a self-paced course, right? So uh, let's let's look real quick under course information. That's the next link, green link to that down here on the uh, left side. Next button. Okay, so that this is going to have the syllabus for us. Okay, so if we open up the syllabus, let's see if it's going to open up for us. It's taking a long time. Uh, so the syllabus, syllabus is going to be here. There's also going to be a, a course schedule, and this will lay out like when things are due, and um, what the kind of what the uh, how the course is going to be laid out. Okay, here we go. So here's our here's our syllabus here. So let's go ahead and open up our syllabus. If it'll let us here, there we go. So there's our syllabus, okay. So it has my information on top here. Uh, it has this course description as well. There's also gonna uh, you can read down through the required coursework, the different things that we're gonna be doing, okay, that are required. Uh, how to uh, submit your assignments, right? So there's gonna be some. That's gonna be one of the tricks, maybe definitely to for you to get your uh, assignments submitted correctly. So really there's three components of your grade. Okay, So three components and you can see them here on the point breakdown. One of them is going to be the chapter questions. Right? Uh, and so uh, the that's going to be the kind of the, the quizzes that we're going to be taking. The end of chapter exercises are going to be those assignments that you uh, complete and submit um, and then the, we're going to have a final project okay for the course and the final project uh, will be submitted through blackboard as well so all this stuff is going to be submitted through blackboard I'm not going to have you hand any printed documents to me if you have to do a report uh, like for example a balance sheet right you cr you put a bunch of stuff into QuickBooks and you have to print out a balance sheet for example that balance sheet is going to be submitted through Blackboard. Uh, I would suggest you save it as or print it as a PDF, right, and submit it to, through Blackboard. So that's something that we're going to work, walk through as well. It talks about it in the in the course textbook. Um, so definitely, uh, this is going to be uh, really the in-class time is going to be really. Uh, where we spend hands-on with the software, working through problems, and doing accounting in class. So it should be pretty good to come to class. Um, the class is set up as a Monday, uh, at least the, the way it was set up as um, for this term, was a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. 
Uh, we're going to try to shift everything back to Monday, Wednesday, and leave Friday as kind of an optional lab if you want to come in and do an optional lab time on Friday. But really, a lot of the content we're going to kind of front load to the beginning of the week on Mondays and Wednesdays. Okay. So let's switch over right now to the uh, course schedule. So here's the course schedule. Uh, and so you, you can see that we have a lot of in-class work that we're doing here. Okay, you can, you can uh, for those that aren't going to be in class, this is the schedule that you need to follow along with as well, okay, on your own. So a lot of, in a lot of ways, this is going to be kind of independent study in some ways. Feel free to reach out to me, though. I'm definitely available to help you um, work through things if you need some extra support. I'm, I'm definitely here for you. Okay, and then there, there's also assignments that are due at the end of the week. Uh, and so, so we have all these exercises and uh, quizzes and things that are due here. At the end of the term, we can see here as we're ending up the term, we're going to end up chapter six, and then we're going to do our work of kind of focusing on our project. And there will even be time if, for those that are kind of ahead or able to get this stuff done um, in a timely manner, to work on some extra credit. Okay, so definitely um, extra credit means extra learning, right? Um, so uh, in the middle here, week six, there will be a midterm exam. So we're going to have a midterm exam. Uh, for, for those of you that are, uh, are, that are t not going to be in class with us, that exam will be available to you to take like at a testing center at the Caldwell Center or you can get it proctored. Uh, so we can set that up uh, as well for you. So, so anyways, so that's the schedule. Take a look at it. Um, as we go down here on our links, uh, we also have um, course management. Okay, this is where you're going to be able to look at your grades and be able to look at the announcements. So I try to, as soon as you, you submit stuff, I try to get it graded as quickly as possible and into the Blackboard. All of your stuff is submitted through Blackboard, so your grade will be uh, pretty apparent as you look at my grade at the my grade link here. Announcements. I'm going to do. I usually do an announcement a week at least. And just to let you know uh, anything coming up that week um, to help you kind of focus in and know where we're at with the class. And then communication is kind of our last link here. Uh, this is how you can get a hold of me. My instructor information is there. Feel free to call me, email me, come by during office hours. There's also emails there for other class members. So if you want to um, reach out to other class members for help, uh, I strongly encourage that as well. The last button there is help, and that's just if you're new to Blackboard, uh, it helps you know how to do you know some of the things with Blackboard there. So hopefully this start video helps you. Um, feel free to you know come and come with questions if there is anything um, that you were not able to answer by reading the syllabus or going through the schedule. Um, I am more than happy to help you. I hope you have a good day, and we'll talk to you later.